home where if you're looking for a home, you say, well, how are the schools? What's the crime rate like? How are the taxes? And oh, by the way, how much extreme weather am I going to face? Yeah, well, first, thanks for having me on it. But I want to say that we, we are at that point. I think we're at a critical inflection point where for decades we've been seeing increases in the frequency and severity of weather disasters and, and climate events. One of the biggest problems around that exposure, though, is we haven't seen awareness increase around, you know, where, where are these climate events likely to occur? How are people going to be impacted? And I think as you start to see data like ours on Zillow, on Realtor, on Redfin, all of a sudden people at a critical point when they're buying a home have access to an additional data point around climate. So they have the information around the school quality, as you mentioned, the walkability. But now you can also start to understand what's my risk today from climate and how's that going to change into the future. Remember, these are generally 30-year mortgages and people are thinking about that into the future. So understanding climate risk uh, and how that's changing is paramount to making a smart decision. Where do you already see this? I referenced Miami, I referenced Galveston, but where, where in the data do you see the impact of migration ties?